All right, you guys. We're gonna give this game a try. This game was not working yesterday, and I think it might have been because of YouTube. It's the biggest game in Cleveland Cavaliers history. No one falls in the NCAA record. Jake left side, picked up by a Jalen. Nothing. The rest of the plan is finishing the touches. What a magnificent performance! What was that plan? Up here, all right. This game is a little bit loud, you guys. It was made by an indie team, I don't think they had a good sound designer. So, what I've been having to do on this game is turn down the volume. I think I'm going to turn it down about 65% so you guys can hear me. I just did that now. Because this game gets, it gets pretty loud, so. You guys should be able to hear me now, though. Hello, Pelin P. Pelin P. Let's see if we can make this game work today, you guys. Um. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up. We're gonna start from the beginning. Again. Turn myself down. So he got thrown by a tornado. Also, let me know if I'm too loud for you guys. I'm going to turn myself down just a tiny bit. Right. right there should be. Right here should be good.
2050 год. Климат на Земле начинает меняться. Погодные катаклизмы следуют один за другим. Торнадо разрушает города и лишает жизни людей. Меня зовут Том. В старом мире я частный детектив, но в новом я обычный странник, который скитается от дома к дому в поисках еды и ночлега. Недавно я набрел на заброшенный блокпост военных и нашел там карту, на которой отмечен некий бункер выживших под кодовым названием Д-7. С каждым днем становится холоднее, и единственная надежда выжить — это бункер. Ничего не остается, как направиться туда. Так, нужно найти место, где я смогу немного отдохнуть и согреться, чтобы продолжить свой путь. Alright, so... Uh, it says the weather and stuff down there. Alright, to start off... So this guy is basically gonna try to find a place... So what this game's about, you guys, let me know if I'm too loud, by the way. If I'm too loud, I can turn myself down, you guys. I just want to make sure that you guys can hear the gameplay and that my voice is not too, too, too loud. So, I just turned myself, I think, like, right here might be good. But anyway, so yeah, so basically what's going on in this game, you guys, I don't, this is my first time playing through it. Um, I played through this first level, and then... For some reason the stream started acting up so I canceled the stream and we're trying again today but basically what I gathered what's going on is this guy is living in the end of the world something happened that we don't know about and see that's like a tornado right there the whole world is destroying itself with weather the weather's gone crazy it's raining it's like everything's gone it's it's basically a disaster film game slash thing and also отлично oh, wow. теперь я еще и промок до нитки если я буду долго находиться на улице я могу замерзнуть oh, okay so it must be cold too so basically you guys this is not an action game this is one of those walking simulators like uh, Esther and Gone Home. So basically, it's going to be beginning to end just a walking around adventure. Kind of like the one we just played a few weeks ago, you guys. What was it called? Return to Rapture. Return to the Rapture. It's going to be like that, just a little bit more scary, I guess. Uh... Frostbite, I'm not gonna reach 30,000 subs for a long time, probably. Oh, you said I'm okay. Good, the volume's good. That's cool. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to be too loud. Похоже, эта рыба сгнила. Ну и запах. Usually I can adjust the volume just fine, but I had to, um, this game was very loud. I guess they didn't, they didn't optimize any of their music or anything in this game. So sometimes you guys will hear music come on and it'll be, I warn you, it, it'll get kind of loud because the sound designers for this game just did not, they didn't love. Судя по всему, здесь водится крупная рыба. С удовольствием бы порыбачил. They didn't level any of their sounds. So when music comes on, you guys, and there's music playing, I probably won't. I probably won't talk. Just because you wouldn't be able to hear me anyway. Until until it stops again. So he's basically, yeah, just trying to find a place to sleep. But you know. I was making fun of it yesterday. I'm like, okay, we'll say, so it's the end of the world. You know, this guy doesn't have anything else to look forward to except, you know, death. He doesn't have any family, I don't think. There's no Disney World. There's no, there's no electricity. I mean, he can't just sit down and play video games or enjoy himself. 
there's I don't I haven't seen any other people yet. Like I would be bored. I'd get lonely. I have not played Gmod. Uh oh, something's happening. Did that bird just do a circle? They showed the title twice. They are they are proud of their game, you guys. They are proud of their game. Proud enough to put the title up twice. So the that crow just took off from there earlier. Did a I guess it did a circle and then landed behind me. <laughs> that was kind of weird. So, I'm not gonna lie, even though this is an indie game, you guys, it does look really beautiful. Like, I could totally picture this being a real place. And I'm guessing I'm in Russia, for one thing. So everything is going to yeah, look with this a little different than... Because I'm assuming that most of you that are, I know not all of you, but most of you in my stream are from the United States because that's where I'm streaming from. I hail from Jacksonville, Florida, you guys. I hail from Jacksonville, Florida. I'm, a, I'm an old man. I'm like 80 years old. I'm kidding. I'm 34. And now we are soaking in the mud. And it's yummy. I did I did not buy Doom 4. If I bought Doom 4, I would have been playing it, playing that right now instead of this. Aye, there is a tent. This tent should ew, it is. It is soaked on the inside kind of. Nothing is in the tent, my ass. What the hell is that? Здесь больше делать нечего. Нужно идти дальше. There's like two garden gnomes in there with a dead thing in the middle. That's kind of creepy. Also, there's a garden gnome out here, you guys. I remember seeing it, too. Don't you guys look... I really love this, you guys. I mean, look at this. Look how dense the bushes and shrubs look. And how it looks like it is wet and flooded out here. That's pretty cool. Like, even the leaves almost kind of look like they would, would be wet. Yeah, they got that little bit of stuff on them. So, yeah, really cool. Cool graphics so far. There it is, you guys. Look at this. He's your friend. His name is Herbert the Pervert. And he is a little garden gnome. He's staring at you. He's staring at you, Trey Rachel. Trey Rachel, all he wants is your love. All he wants is your love. Okay, let's go. So this man is cold and trying to survive for for some reason. Look at that, though. That's amazing. I love that. 
Game's running really well today, you guys. Hopefully it does not screw up. I think it was just YouTube last night, you guys. YouTube was having some kind of issue and I couldn't stream last night. It kept dropping frames and it was it was pretty bad. You guys, you guys, you know you love garden gnomes. There's at least one of you in this chat room that has a garden gnome in your yard. Probably not. My parents never had one, thank God. I don't think we had one. If we did, I really don't remember. It, like, when, when I was little. Look at this, you guys. Like, it looks like I'm in somebody's backyard, and they have not tended their backyard at all for, like, months. <laughs> this looks really good, though. Like, the way the brush, the bushes are next to the... Like, everything looks natural and organic. Whoa, what was that? It sounded like something was running around here with me. Like, I'm not gonna lie, they did a really good job. Like, everything bends when I run into it, like it pushes out of the way. Look at this! I went in here last night, I remember. See, now he is safe from the rain. Now we can sit here, we can curl up, with the bugs and whatever the hell is, is out here, snakes, you know, we'll just curl up in the corner and, and kill over. How does that sound? Frostbite, I am never doing a face reveal. Ever. I'll give you a hint. I look like the devil. There you go. Um, I, um, my favorite game I did a live stream on, I can't really... What? Whoa. That tree just fell over, you guys. I can't really say. I don't really have a favorite game that I've done a live stream on, I don't think. Not yet, anyway. In time. In time. I'm trying to think, there is, I guess the one that was most involved in, in, in where the live streamers um, got the most engaged and we all had a great time was, um, well, well, Firewatch was one of them. Firewatch was pretty fun. And then, I'm trying to think of a longer game that we did. Probably Assassin's Creed, I'd say, was another fun one. Syndicate, by the way. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Alright, you guys. Last time I went in this house and I ended the level pretty quickly. Oh my goodness. Jeez Louise. Um... My favorite horror movie, yes, is Friday the 13th. Mostly, I'm biased to it because I grew up with it. And Jason scared me as a kid, you guys, because, like, as a kid, you have a big imagination. So when you're, like, looking out... And I lived in a little suburban neighborhood, too. So there was, like, house next to house next to house. You know, it was a little tiny, nice neighborhood. Very nice. And, like, you would, like, stand at the window and look outside and imagine if Jason were to walk down your street at night and you could see him and, like, you just hope that he doesn't turn and look at your house. Like, you hope he just keeps going. And then even if he did try to come in your house, back then you were like, I'm a child, so I'm safe. Jason can't hurt me because I'm a kid, and he only he doesn't hurt kids. He doesn't hurt animals, and he doesn't hurt kids. 
Oh, I did it again, you guys. I looked at the lamp by accident. I was going to explore the cabin last time, but I forgot which item pushed it to the next level, and it was that lamp, so I didn't get to look around again. But that's fine. I don't mind. I'm not picky. So this is where we quit last night, you guys, because the game wasn't working right. YouTube was acting weird. But it seems to be running fine, you guys, now. I haven't dropped any frames the whole time. I think, I think, maybe I just needed to restart my computer last night. I don't know. But I like how the floor, you can see that it's flooded and nasty and probably moldy. Yeah, this game's not very intensive, you guys. I'm running it at 60 frames per second right now. And it's not dropping any frames at all, so... It was... At first, I thought it was the game. I Maybe it wasn't optimized well, but it was... It must have been YouTube last night, the, the reason why it wasn't running so well. Что, ничего интересного сегодня не покажут? Is there anything good on TV tonight? Probably not. I don't think there is. X Deska, what the hell's going on? So this is an apartment building. I don't know why. Okay, somebody is getting the shit beat out of them somehow. Somebody just got the crap beat out of them, you guys. Somebody just got the shizzle net beat out of them. I don't know. I just want to cook some eggs. I already looked at the counter before I remember that. He just says it's dirty. And then it lingers on it for like a while. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Somebody's in... Somebody's in the bathroom, ex deska Somebody is in the bathroom. Let's have a peek, shall we? Let's have a peek. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. William Brown. There's a man in the bathroom and he wants to talk to you, William Brown. He wants to talk to you, so I'm going to walk right over to him, William Brown. I am going to walk right over to the man. I am going to walk over to the man, crazy warrior. Ult Vrella, this man wants to give you a kiss. This man wants to give you a It's Jason Voorhees, you guys. Probably not, because he's kind of small. He's not as big as Jason, but still... Helen P, this man, he wants to give you a kiss. He wants to give you a kiss. I'm going to... Damn, son. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Кто-нибудь скажет мне, что здесь происходит? See us, we can begin. That's how he talks, y'all. All right, so we're gonna turn this corner. Oh my goodness, what the hell's going on? This game is so weird, you guys. I don't even. I think a man run runs by right there, and I wasn't looking. He runs by this way. He goes from the right to the left, and then he's just there's nothing there. I really do need a flashlight, though. I do need a flashlight. That was my face reveal, Frostbite. Did you like it? That's that's what I look like in real life. What that man that, that man that turned around in the bathroom? That was me. That that was my face reveal. Uh, I did another face reveal. I did another face reveal, you guys. Did you see that? It was a split second. It was a split second. 
Riley McGuiley. What's going on, Riley? Riley, there is a toilet right here. There is a toilet, and I can't, I can't get on it. Up, oh, I'm on the toilet. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Okay, now that we're done with the toilet. Sweet. Oh shit. Something happened. I don't know what happened, Riley. I just don't know what happened. All right, you guys, hold on a second. I can probably turn the the, the music's not really as irritating as it was before, so I'm going to turn you guys' sound back up to at least like 85% and see if it gets too loud again. I'll turn it back down, but it should be fine. It's like a little bit. Here, let me. It's like a little bit. Well, let me turn it down just a smidge. Okay. Now it should be good. Okay. Just don't want it to like blow you guys' eardrums out like it did before. Alright. This is not a house anymore, and this is definitely not apartment building. His climbing is all goofy. There is a lot of wine glasses in here. Lots of wine glasses. That would be awesome, you guys, if I got chased by Jason or something in here. I've been waiting on... Oh, there's Jason up there. Did you see him? He just walked by. Oh my goodness! What in the world? Jeez Louise! I I don't even. Okay. There are giant spiders in here apparently now. What did he want to look at? My man wanted to look at something. But I don't know what it was. Oh. It's a flashlight. It's a broken flashlight. Ah, very useful. Crazy Warrior Saw is a shitty game. No. Frostbite, you ask a lot of questions. Um. Oh. I love getting shot. I didn't even pick up that flashlight last time, you guys. Yeah, it does look a lot like Chernobyl. Well, this is a Russian game, you guys, so it's everything's going to have that Chernobyl look by default just because Russians build stuff a lot different. Everything's going to have that World War II kind of vibe. architecture and stuff is different. Alright, so trying to figure out here. I can't go that way. Can I open this door? No. I can't open the doors, you guys. I just can't open none of these doors. Ah. I don't use Chrome browser, Riley. I use Firefox. 
This room. Okay, I remember this. This one took me a while, but I remember how to get out. You have to stick the box up here, and then you gotta jump your ass up here. And you gotta jump up there. And then I was like, it feels a lot like Half-Life. And it really does. Like, this is something you'd have to do in Half-Life in order to get out of the room. I hate spiders, he says. So this is where we quit last night, you guys. Right here in this spot. And uh, I had to walk through these spider webs right here. And this is where we stopped, right here. Because everything was freaking out in the stream. So I have no idea what happens beyond this point. Alright. Oh, I thought somebody was running up on me. I'm thinking we need something. I think I just missed something. But I think we gotta put something in there, you guys, to open this gate to go down this creepy looking hall right here. Alright. Yeah, this does feel like the Resident Evil 7 demo. It, it, it really does. But I like it because it looks really good, too. Look at that cloth. Take it down and use it, man. All right. I'm thinking... Wait, what's this? No, it's just a can. I'm thinking that that thing he just broke off the wall, he could stick it in there. But I can't use it. Alright, we gotta find something, you guys. Hold on, can I get up here? No, I can't get back there. Something we gotta use. Something we gotta use. Okay. I don't think we have to go back this way. Not unless he has to go back out there where that spider is to get something. But um, let's let's take a look around. I can't fit in there. There's nothing. I can't get through here. If you guys see something that I'm not seeing. Feel free to call it out. But I'm gonna walk back here and see if I missed something. saw a box back there. Yeah, I could probably, you know what? 
These friggin' box puzzles are annoying, so that's, that's probably it, actually. I don't think a box is gonna get him over any of this stuff. But... Oh, no, I don't think... I don't think... Wait, what's this? Something down here? No, there's nothing down here. Oh no, there's no box. You can't pick up any boxes over here. Damn. Well, there's got to be something over here. You can't jump that high. And there's only... The only thing I can do right now is jump and duck. And that's pretty much it. And there's nothing over here. You can't get out of this room. You can't get back up into the vent. So there's definitely... There's definitely nothing to do in there. Something. Uh oh, what was that? Uh oh. What? Are you serious? Hold on. There's like something right here, but I would have never. Oh, it's just to close the gate. Oh. I guess he locked it? But what was. What was the. What was the point in locking it? The spider can probably still get through that. Alright, I still can't get through there. Now I have to notice something else. What is going on, hyena? Um, okay. You guys, I am like literally kind of confused right here. There's nothing to put in the wall. The she is nothing, I don't think. And... Can he duck through here? Really? Really? What happens if I didn't turn and, and close the spider up? Maybe he would have came in through, got me, I don't know. Okay, I think I found the little piece. We found the piece, Frostbite. We found the piece. Ah! The spider is going away. I wonder if he could have actually killed me. All right, moving on. This hallway is really kind of creepy to me. It, like, the ceiling is right above his head. So, so far this game seems very... The atmosphere is fantastic, I'm not gonna lie. The story's kind of... I know the... the so, for those of you that are just joining in... 
the story of this game is so far that I know is everything is being destroyed. The whole world has is undergoing an apocalypse and it's mostly the weather that mankind is having to deal with. So there's crazy rain, tornadoes all over the place. Just every you know, everything's flooding. Just nothing is going right. What is this? There's some eggs. Either that or it wrapped something up, but I'm I'm guessing that those are gonna be eggs. Yes, this game is definitely a post-Trump experience, you guys. This game is a simulator to what the world is like post-Trump. Okay, I can't get through there. Think? I don't know, he's in some kind of underground tunnel. This is in Russia, you guys. So they have all those weird underground tunnels and all that. So I'm just trying to figure out where this man's needing to go and stuff. He's got to find a way out. Aha, you go this way. Get your ass up there. Well, there's nothing in here but these eggs. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Now climb your butt up here. That's as high as I can go. So sad. Well. Oh, maybe I can go through here. There we go. Well, there's nothing in here. Wait, wait. These little small ass spots he can squeeze into. In most games, like, you would not be able to go through that. But this game, so, so I'm keep in mind, you guys, I am following the spider. Like, this is not a good thing. And there is a huge spider web right there. There is a huge spider web right in front of me. He's gonna get eaten. My man is about to get eaten, you guys. He is about to get smacked on. just got killed.
уже я слишком долго спал. Нужно как можно скорее вернуться к лодке. Окей, okay, am I playing as the same person or am I playing as different people? That are just dying. Oh no, this is the dude that, that fell asleep in that cabin I went in. So it must be like two different people. That other guy just died. Whoever I was just playing, I think he died. But this is the kid I was playing at the beginning. And now he's woke up in the cabin and is continuing his journey. Maybe I'm going to be playing as two different people during this thing. I have no clue. I'm about to check out this backyard, though. I am going to check out this backyard, you guys. Here it is, Jason's shack. We found Jason's home, you guys. It looks just like the one from the movie. We're gonna go in there, and we're gonna find Jason Voorhees. He's, he's in his nasty home. Look at that, it looks just like it. But I bet there's nothing on the other side, because it's busted. Jason's nasty shack. I hope they put that in the game, you guys. I think they are. They're gonna have it to where if the counselors can do it, they can find ja Jason's nasty old shack in the woods and go in there and maybe find some stuff. I am just exploring. Uh oh. Well, shit on electric griddle. Oh my Самолет goodness. не похож на военный. Судя по звуку, он упал где-то неподалеку. Judging by the sound, I would hope so. Shit on a plastic nickel, you guys. Hyena can fly. Have you ever seen a hyena with wings, you guys? Look at all these bushes. I'm just gonna lay in these weeds right here, you guys, and... Well, first I'm gonna go over here. Okay, now that I've taken care of business, I'm gonna go over here and lay down in the weeds and go to sleep. And watch the sky. I'll just leave it there for the next two hours. I'm kidding. There it is, you guys. This is Hyena Sports Car. It is called the Tractoro Eldoro. And it's amazing. It will be every car in the world. Look at that amazing NOS cavity. <laughs> Alright, continuing forward. I can't get in. Oh my goodness. Riley, why are you making all them noises? I'm trying to explore out here. You over there making your weird mating ritual noises. Riley McGuiley, I cannot believe you sometimes. We have reached a road or something. Wow, look at that lighting though. I 
don't know what this dude's trying to find. I guess he's about to come across that plane in a second. Ain't nothing in the wagon. There is no people around either. There you go. Get in the trash. Maybe you'll find something worth chewing on. <laughs> this is ru this is Russia after Trump took over the US. <laughs> his his influence was so bad it even reached Russia. Probably post war. In the in the weather has just gone and hey, did you notice you guys? It's not raining anymore. I mean I know it's not been raining, but Considering he was like in a downpour or earlier, this is definitely much nicer. I didn't know if the rain was ever going to stop because I didn't know if the weather was like so bad to where they were just going to be flooded or if it was actually just temporary. So for those of you that are just joining, if you're confused, basically all I know so far from the beginning of the game is this dude, the world is in an apocalypse, the weather's gone crazy, there's tornadoes everywhere, everything is just, I think it's the end of the world disaster type of game. It is a walking adventure, kind of like Esther Gone Home and um, Take Me Back to, everybody's went to the rapture. Эй, Томми, что там поделал той девчонке, которую застрелили? Дело было закрыто за недостаточностью улик. Подозреваемый есть, но у него железное алиби. Да? Попробуй докажи это и отцу. Сегодня утром соседи нашего подозреваемого вызвали полицию. Увидели, что в его дом хотел влезть отец этой девочки, и при нем нашли пистолет. Даже не могу представить, каково ему сейчас. Ладно, Томас, забей. Пойдем лучше перекусим. Окей. I re it's really annoying how they wrote that up there, you guys. Somebody needs to learn how to write a script. Like, the way that they have the text appearing up there and the way that it's formatted just looks really sloppy. But anyway. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to keep going down here or go back. Let me see. Because there's like this thing over here. Okay, I'm supposed to keep going this way then. Riley, we are going to play with all the bullfrogs. How does that sound? Does that make you excited, Riley? Does that make you excited? That we are going to find a bullfrog. Why is there like a fire or a flare or something over there? It looks like a flare. Oh, that's where the plane crashed. Well, shit, why doesn't he go over there and like... left the plane. My man didn't even 
and go look and to see if there was anything he could use in the plane. boat just broke okay so he stops here I would have just kept going man So now he's in an un another underground bunker. Uh, hey, he reached the bunker he was wanting to get to. I think this I think this is the bunker that he was talking about in the beginning that he was looking for. Okay, so this there's a reason he's here, at least. He didn't just aimlessly come here, I don't think. I hope not. But Oh, you can hear people walking around, but this так, is... нужно найти выход. Не стоит здесь задерживаться. What? You just were just trying to get here. He's talking about I have to find the exit. I shouldn't stay here any longer. You just got here, man. This is the place you were looking for. This man cannot make up his mind, you guys. I don't even. I don't even. Oh, wow, that's creepy. Just that little hint of orange at the end of the hallway. That's really cool. Why does Russian games, they always filter their shit in, 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 in dull colors? I noticed that. Like, Metro 2033 was done the same way. All their shit was, like, dull blues and grays and dark browns. and It doesn't really look like real. I guess that's the way they saw it. I don't know. They're underground. Maybe it actually looks like this in their underground bunkers. I have no clue. I have never been to the Mother Russia. I have never been to Mother Russia. Do not make fun of the homeland. No, sir. Now, this room's kind of creepy. Oh, wow. And there is a bug flying around my head. Something is going to come out and get you, Riley. It's going to come through this door. Are you ready, Riley? I am going to open this door for Mother Russia. For Mother Russia, we will open the door and it will be amazing. The door will not open, Riley. The door will not open so it must go back down we must go back down Riley I maybe he can jump kick the door no we must find the key I thought he picked up a key earlier uh oh Something is happening, Riley. <laughs> Riley.
Эй! Выпусти меня! Нужно найти способ выбраться из этой клетки. Райли, Райли, how are we going to get out of this cage together, Riley? How are we going to get out of this cage together? Oh, here we go, you guys. I gotta do it again. Okay. I don't know. I'll just break it. Думаю, этим можно сломать замок. Well, that was easy. Shit. There's a killer running around, you guys. I wouldn't blame him either. Like, this dude just comes walking all up in their shit. Doesn't even ask to come in. I would knock his ass out, too. I don't even like playing this character that I'm playing. He has no purpose. Зачем столько клеток? He's just like a nosy asshole going around like other people are trying to survive and my dude just goes walking up in their shit uninvited. Of course you're gonna get knocked out. What's so that it? Ah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, you guys. I'm just like some idiot. That is, I'm on somebody else's property right now, I feel like. Like you don't need to be worrying about that blood. That ain't that ain't none of your concern. Get the hell out of there. I don't know why he stopped there in the first place. All right. So let's see. We could get in the bathtub, you guys. We could take a cleaning. Right here by the window, we have a wonderful view. Now if I can only get some water in this damn thing. Man, I can barely fit in here. Look how big I am. Shit. I'm huge. Okay, let's get out of there. Aha. Uh -huh. One of these doors have to open. Uh-oh, what was that? Did I break something? Shit. These nasty, man, these X16, X8, X18, what does that mean? I have no clue. I don't know. I don't care. I'm just trying to get the hell out of this place. Man, none of these doors open. What the hell's going on? Ain't got a flashlight or nothing. Ain't got shit. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Alright, let's see, you guys. Uh, there has to be something. The door won't open. He seems interested in this room because of the blood, but I'm not... Gotta be something. Oh, here we go. Well, seems I didn't look around hard enough. Holy crap! This game might may not have much of a story, but I can't. Like the the art direction is really good though, cause like look at this. All of a sudden he's under. A, Okay, so that's the door he just came, he went under. So he must have fell down here and this place is just flooded. You guys, like, look at this. I can't wait to see what games are going to look like in the next three years, you guys. That's why I need to hurry up and buy a 1080. I'm looking to get a um, GTX 1070, you guys, when they're available again. I think they're all sold out right now. But I'm looking to get a 1070. Because in the next... By, by 2017, you're probably going to need one. 
If you look into the sparks, you guys, if you look into the sparks, it will come. Ah. Hopefully you don't have, you know. I need a, what do you call it? Is it epilepsy? Or when you go, when you go into a strobed room and it like fucks with you. Ian, yeah, well, I mean, it'll probably be, I don't know if I'm going to get run right away. Well, the 1070 and the 1080 should be fine, because they're already, they already have drivers and stuff up on their site, but I don't, I don't know if they're optimized, but they'll get there. People are playing with them in their PC. I've seen videos and stuff. It seems to be like it's stable. And the card runs good. I mean, even if you don't, if the reason why I'm getting a 1070, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the reason why most people are gonna get a 1070 in their computer is because it's like almost 200 to 300 dollars cheaper than the 1080. Plus, it's almost pretty much the same card. If you look at the specs for the 1070, it's only dialed down about 20 percent, or shit, probably only like 10, 15 percent from the from the 1080. And so, obviously, it's priced accordingly. They take off the money for... But it's... it's as, I mean, you don't need any more than a 1070. If you look at the specs, it's basically a Titan X, and it's better than the Titan X. So it's like, once you get the 1070 card, you're set. You're probably set for the next... I'd say six, seven, eight, six, seven years. Right now, I got a. Um, I still haven't upgraded in a while. I've got a uh, GTX 760 in the computer. Okay, so can I go through this door? No. Okay, so what are we back here for? Well, the 1070 still runs VR Hyena. It's basically just dialed. The 1070 is just a dialed down cheaper version of the of the 1080, just by 20%. It's the same card, just dialed down. But a lot of people, why they're gonna buy the 1070 is because they can just overclock it to be where the 1080 is stock, which is a lot cheaper than buying a $700 1080 card, unless you can find one for 600 somewhere or 500, but. The 1080 is is down. Some people are selling it for like 380 dollars. 1070 for 380 dollars. If you can find it, I think the going price for it for that you're gonna find for at least the first couple of months is 448. I think on it is what most places are. Selling. Oh my goodness! That mouse just got roasted. Well, here's the power button. I like how there. Why would there be mouse? Why would there be mice trapped in here? I could see cockroaches. I could see cockroaches being in there. But why would there be mice? Like there was five of them in there. He would have heard them bitches making noise while he walked up to the box. I like I like how his jacket was wet right there. They try to do the Blair Witch Project camera thing, you know, the shaky cam. It's kind of cool, but damn, that was a big ass rat. I'm probably gonna wait a while on the whole VR thing because it's a lot of money right now. I'm going to wait for that to come down in price when it's more of a... And that'll happen when it's more accepted. When, when VR becomes the accepted norm, then it will become cheaper. It'll become normal. I'm, I'm waiting for VR, you guys, because this could... You could be wasting your money on shit, because I'm waiting to see if it's going to be a gimmick. I'm going to give it a year, probably a year and a half, 
I'm gonna wait to see if they actually still continue making games for it because if it doesn't if it doesn't become trendy if it doesn't trend it's not gonna be something that they're gonna continue to make because right now all, all it is all it is is an expensive gimmick nobody's making their real games for VR it's not become accepted as a mainstream way of playing your games and until you know until it gets to where people can pay for it right now if you were to buy a video card that could run VR you'd have to pay around 400 500 dollars for that plus another 600 dollars I think it is for the actual VR headset so that's that's not even worth it if it becomes a gimmick then you're just wasting your money it's best to wait and see if, if it's even gonna fly first then than just to waste your money on it right off the bat. Um, I guess I have to walk through the steam right here. Горячий пар не дает мне пройти. Okay, he's gotta turn it off. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, the VR headset is very expensive. I think it's like five hundred to six hundred dollars. So I mean, it's a cool thing. I've seen it. I've seen games being played on it, but it's like nothing. People are gonna be playing on their TV still. You know, it's not gonna unless it unless it like becomes this thing where it is actually amazing to play like mainstream I'm talking about for a lot of it's gonna have to cover a lot of genres like this kind of a game obviously it's amazing to play but I want to walk into a store eventually and try the VR headset out and see for myself what it's all about and then I'll probably be able to get a, a better understanding of how um, how it could be how it could be a replacement that's the only re that's the only way it's gonna fly you guys if it's going to be a replacement for the way people game at least above 50 percent of what we do now because if it's just like a little wii u kind of a thing like it is just a gimmick then it's i don't know i don't know if people are gonna spend money on that where in the heck is this val valve i'm supposed to be turning to turn off the steam Ah, there's a box right here. Do I have to? Okay, can't use that box for nothing. Probably walked by it. And I didn't even. Oh, here it is. I didn't see it because it was like, well, shit. He's not turning it though. Oh, did I just turn it? I did turn it. Okay, I wasn't. Even, I was talking to you guys and not paying attention. Here we go. Sorry, you guys. I talk a lot and then I don't. I just do stuff and I don't pay attention.
It's the attack of the killer spiders, you guys. But yeah, back onto the conversation about like the VR thing. It's because if you guys remember back in the day, back in back in the mid '90s, it's it's not really comparable because this virtual reality headset is a lot better. But just as a comparison, when the uh, when the Game Boy when the Game Boy's VR headset, Virtual Boy, came out back in the day, everybody thought it was going to be the next best thing. For, and, and everybody bought one when it first came out. And then what happened after about five, six months was they stopped making games for it because, because of the crap that it was. <laughs> but this one, this headset's much better. This head, but this headset's much better. That's why I don't really like making a comparison to Virtual Boy. But the same thing, though. Like, like the Wii U. People still play it, but it's not something that's it's it's mainstream for a certain crowd of folks. Like me, I don't have a Wii U. I don't play Wii U. I don't like. I don't. I used to play Nintendo, but their games are for it's their games are marketed differently for different for more family it's, it's for it's more of a family thing um a gimmick it is kind of a gimmick but it sells and that's what and that's the people that they market to let me see what the hell i'm supposed to do over here it's not kind of like a mainstream like i would say mainstream is more pc and all the other consoles the Nintendo, to me, the Wii U, even though it is a mainstream console, it's more like, it, it's marketed differently. Where in the heck am I supposed to go? I can't go back this way, because that's, that's where the spiders are. Can I go in here? I can't go in there. Um, so I think the virtual headsets, they will market differently than than the mainstream consoles will. They'll have a different... They're going to have their own set of games. You know what? I'm wondering if I'm supposed to just go through this. They're going to have their own set of games. It's going to be its own thing. That's that's what I'm trying to say. You won't, you won't see, like, mainstream games coming out for... for There'll be some, but it won't be like you're gonna start seeing Assassin's Creed and and Far Cry unless they're an independent game to the virtual headset. Now, if they do, then I'll put a sock in my mouth. Hey, ты! Я вижу тебе нужна помощь. Ты получил дозу радиации, когда прошел возле тех бочек с радиоактивными отходами. Это не хорошо. Иди сюда, я могу тебе помочь. Okay. I want to go walk over to that guy and see what happens. I'm going to go give him a kiss, you guys. I think he just killed me. Я видел, как ты приплыл сюда на своей лодке. Я все думал, откуда я тебя знаю. Но потом вспомнил. Ты тот самый детектив, который расследовал дело моей дочери. То самое дело, которое ты так и не смог распутать. Но теперь это не важно. Я сам нашел того, кто убил мою дочь, отомстил ему. Она с тобой словно свела судьба. Удивительная штука эта жизнь, да? Сегодня ты жив, а через секунду уже мертв. I am a dead man. Oh God. He's gonna turn me into a, a mutant. He's gonna turn me into a ninja turtle, you guys. Because if you guys remember in the first 80s cartoon, the mutagen was pink and not green. 
Yeah, the mutagen looked like that. If you if you guys go back and watch the first the first episode of the '80s Ninja Turtle cartoon, it it looks just like that. It's like pink mutagen, and then the turtles like walk in it, так, and they turn. Нужно найти выход. Не стоит здесь задерживаться. Okay, so my dude has just been soaked in stuff, so he's gonna he's totally gonna turn into a ninja turtle later, you guys. But we need to figure our way out of here first. Is снова клетки. Well, get your backpack. I was like, is the game... I had to actually press the F key on my keyboard because the controller, for some reason, was not doing anything. So he just walks out? Like, this dude didn't lock him in? But yeah, back to the 1070 cards. Like, I'm really stoked about getting one. I was thinking about getting the 1080, but then I, I really studied it. I really studied the hell out of cards before I make a purchase, you guys. Holy crap. But yeah, I looked at the specs and I was like, for the price drop on the 1070, it's, it's definitely worth it. Hey, oh, shit. нельзя просто так взять и покинуть вечеринку. Веселье только начинается. Plus, you know, everybody wants to be ready for when Battlefield 1 comes out, because that's another game I'll probably be playing the hell out of. You guys, when I get on Battlefield 1, you guys got to get on there and, and we got to make like a friggin' whatchamacallit. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> that dude's just sitting back there. This is how slow. Oh, okay, I was like, wouldn't that light be blinding the hell out of me right now? they're both built for VR if you go to the if you go to Nvidia's website they're both built to run VR and they even have the little insignia symbols by it like the little VR headset symbol by both of the cards I mean technically a 980 ti should be able to run the VR head, head uh, the VR headsets. I could never get a VR headset where I currently live. I'd have to move out of my house, you guys, because, like, my room, <laughs> there is, because so, my room is basically a studio, so there is absolutely no room to do any of the VR stuff. I'd have to make a studio. I'd have to buy a place, get a bit, kind of a, the same size studio that I have now, the same, same size room, but I'd have to, um, really get rid of a lot of stuff and rearrange everything differently. 
that might happen in time. It depends on if if I do YouTube as a thing like all the time, then I could probably do that. The future holds many things. Oh my god. He's like gonna put one right between my eyes. Damn. What the heck? This place just got flooded all of a sudden. This game is really weird, you guys. I'm like... The, the storyline is like... It feels kind of choppy. So far, I'm on level five. There's only ten levels. This is definitely a Russian game, though. Like, they, they love their underground bunkers. I prefer to be above ground. It's like, it's kind of like the 4K TVs, you guys. Like, for me, I'm very simple. I just have a 1080p screen. I am completely satisfied with that, at least for right now. People talking about getting a, because you have to have at least a 60 inch screen to, to, to be able to do 4K. And I'm like, some people talk about getting 4K. I gotta get 4K, I gotta get 4K. I have to upgrade to 4K. I'm like, dude, you're in your bedroom. You sit like 10 feet less. You sit like five feet from the screen. You don't need to, you don't need 4K. You don't need a 60 inch screen. Okay, we got a, we got a box puzzle coming up, you guys. You don't need a 60 inch screen in your face. Like, you can have a less powerful video card that, that can run your 1920 by 1080p and you're with a with a 40 inch screen and you're fine. And it's a lot cheaper as well. It's just these businesses, they know how to market to people, you guys. You guys got you guys gotta be careful of that. These businesses are very good at marketing to people to make you feel like you need the best of everything at w immediately when it comes out. Now you got you got to you got to be patient, man. You got to be patient. They will try to dig the money out of all the rich people first, and then they'll drop the price for the rest of the consumers after they do that. They're cuz they're out to milk people for their money, you guys. At least at least in the beginning. All right. Okay, uh, let's see, where am I supposed to be boxing it up at? Oh Oh, the VRAM, both of the cards have eight gigabytes of VRAM, uh, Hyena. I'm thinking it's there, yeah. The RAM in both of the cards is, is eight gigabytes. And both of the cards in terms of RAM, they're exactly the same. What in the heck am I supposed to be doing in here? I don't really want to mess with any of the electronics. At least, oh wait. Oh see, I thought that was just a light. I didn't know that was a button. Give me a break. 
Oh yeah, the cards are different speeds, but the the 1070 is only like go go look at the specs by side by side. They're very they're like may it's like maybe 20% dropped from the 1080. Not really worth another 300 extra dollars. Especially when you can just overclock it to be the same to be the same exact card. What was that? Something just beeped. It was kind of weird. I'm still trying to figure out what this dude, where this main character thinks he's going. What is all this noise that keeps happening? I know! Hyena, stop talking about graphics cards! I'm trying to pay attention to the game, damn it. <laughs> nah, I don't mind I don't mind having off conversations with you guys sometimes. I like talking about computer stuff. Bottom line, both cards will run games for the next six years. That's that. <laughs> Let's just say that that's the bottom line, because <laughs> technically both of those cards will be able to run everything for the next six years or so. No, no problem. So they're definitely both worth the purchase. I have no idea where to get through it. I have no idea. Maybe there's another button that's hiding somewhere. There's another button in there, that's for sure. I see it. So I wonder if I can climb up. Okay, so is that a button over there? Or is that a light? It's hard to tell what, what's a light and what's a button. Okay, I think I'm going the right direction now. Maybe, maybe not. Wait, what is, see, what is this over here? Is this a button? No, that's just a light. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, I gotta mess with some shit now. And why is my dude walking? Hold on, Q. Oh, that's just to close it. Alright. Um, oh, I gotta put three more chips in here, you guys. There's one looks like it's right here. Can I click on that? Hold on. No. I can't. Okay, I think I gotta find two more of those cards. And then we'll be banging on all cylinders. Oh, this game, for those of you that are just joining, this game is very strange. It's very weird. So far, it's I know it, it, it revolves around the end of the world. When you start out, there's tornadoes and shit, and it's raining, and the weather has gone completely ballistic. Your guy is just trying to survive after an apocalypse. It's basically the weather has destroyed the world. I don't know how many people are supposed to be alive, but basically this dude's just basically, he's just wandering around on his own and and this one guy is concerned about an investigation this one guy with the gun is chasing my guy or was and he's more concerned about that that my guy used to be the detective that was investigating his doctor's his daughter's murder i guess it's very strange very strange things for these characters to be worried about during a time of like you know where everybody should be working together to stay alive. They're more concerned with stupid things that happened in their past. Man, I'm trying to figure out where to go in this room because I'm really not seeing anything. I gotta get that door open. That looks like I gotta find these two chips. And I'm not seeing any chips. Is there any in here? in here. We gotta open this door. I'm not seeing any any kind of chips. Or 
nothing. I jumped up here. Oh, can I jump up here? Hope so. Oh, he climbed up, up, up. It's glitching out. Maybe he can do it. There we go. Okay, now we're banging on all cylinders now. We're banging on all cylinders, you guys. How about those cookies? Thank you, hyena, for supporting the Hyena Day clan. Because hyenas are going to take over the world, you guys. Did you know that? And then we're going to eat all of the giraffes, and it's going to be the best buffet for Thanksgiving ever. And it's going to be amazing. Okay, I can't flip that switch. There's one. Похоже на предохранитель. And what is this? That's not going to work until I get the other fuse. Well, there's one fuse, you guys, and now I can... There we go. There's one fuse. I need one more fuse. I need... Oh, there's that weird beep again. This game's really weird, you guys. It's like weird sound effects just coming out of nowhere. All right, let me put this fuse in. Maybe I gotta stick it in. I gotta stick it in first, you guys. I gotta stick it in. We're gonna go ahead and stick it all the way in. Hold on. Oh, maybe I can't stick anything in yet. I can't stick it in, you guys. I'm sorry, but I can't stick it in yet. I wonder if I have to go back this way. There is a fuse, and it is missing. I'm wondering if it's back here. Maybe. Maybe it's on the ground. There's another box. I don't need no boxes. I'm trying to see how far we can go back. Because I want to see... Because the fuse might be back here, you guys. That fuse might be hidden back here. Somewhere. I don't know if I've been in here. Okay. Oh, this is where I started, I think. Uh, okay, so I don't think they hid anything back this way. What's this? Okay, that's just a can. Um, I don't think there's anything up there. There's that strange beep again. Hyena, we gotta make a uh, we gotta make a clan with. Oh, there's the other fuse, you guys. Sweet. Похоже на предохранитель. Hyena, do you plan on getting Battlefield 1 when it releases? Because I will definitely be on that for a good while. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Because my thing, you guys, I have a deep fascination for war, World War II. Haven't really studied World War I much. I, knew, I know they are taking liberty with what they're putting in the World War I. Battlefield franchise, but I, I do not mind just as long as it is. Just as long as they do keep a fun kind of vibe to it and bring back what war games used to mean back in like 2001. Yeah, you know, when they, when Medal of Honor and Call of Duty actually used to be good, you guys. And, and when those games were 
were being played back then. They had um, Call of Duty had came out, and it was also World War II, and it was actually really fun to play. All right, I gotta go put these in. But then when everything went to Modern Warfare, that's when that's when I stopped playing first-person shooters for the most part. And I played the first one. The first Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the first Modern Warfare game was actually really fucking amazing. And then they and then they brung out the second one and the third one and the fourth one and then I was like, no. Так. Теперь можно попробовать открыть дверь. All right, so we got the fuses in. I did, oh, World, World, at, World at War was also, excuse me, was also really freaking amazing. Yeah, I did love that one as well. You guys, so you guys know, you guys get what I'm talking about and what kind of war games I, I loved. So basically anything World War II back in the day was, because I love, the reason why I love those and not the modern warfare games is not just because it turned modern, you guys, it's because they were focusing on real theaters of war. They, they, you could actually teach kids and teenagers and adults, you know, educate. It was almost an educational experience. Even though it was bloody, it was brutal, and it was violent, you were still... Okay, so that's not... Now I can push this button, maybe. Okay. So, yeah, they were actual... They were real scenes of war. That's why I love playing them. So it was, it was like you're getting to relive those moments that you knew like your grandfather might have been a part of or you know stuff like that i was really big into band of brothers you know say uh, saving private ryan all those things um rising sun tear of the sun um we were soldiers uh you know wind talkers uh, full Metal Jacket. Like, I loved war movies, and uh, specifically World War II movies. So those games, that's why those games were fun to me. But And then it got to the modern warfare thing, and then it turned into a teenager's wet dream. It was just guns and, and one bad guy terrorist taking over the world. And they kept recycling the story, recycling the story. And I'm like, okay, you've lost me on the whole war thing. Like, no more... I don't want to play Call of Duty anymore. So that's why how that's how I stopped playing. So now with the World War 1 stuff coming back, I'm kind of interested again. Just as long as they don't take it over the top. I hope that they don't do what what Modern Warfare did and it, everybody's excited at first. Yay, World War 1. And then they just go crazy with it. And then they start throwing in all this crazy sci-fi stuff and I'm like war war one sci-fi and i'm like and then they're just gonna lose me all over again so it's not i'm not wanting to play it just because it's war war one i'm wanting to play it because it seems like they finally figured out what the problem was that people are tired of playing these modern warfare games and that they're just not real they're over the top war mechanic you know like they're just over the top and you need to push this thing down my man if you want to get through here Physics are not working right here. Physics are broken. There we go. Push it down, man. You can get it. You can get it. There it is. There it is. But. Yeah. This game is not really that scary. I mean, it's nice to look at. I wish they would get out of the bunkers. And I want to see some more, like, of the city. But maybe we won't get to see them. Lots of underground in this game. Lots of spiders, too. They love the spiders. They should have just called this game Arachnophobia. Screw the investigative story. It's not even about an investigator. It's just some dude trying to survive. 
in a bunker. And there is a very bright window. Okay, there's a lock on the door. We gotta get something to bust this lock off, guys. We're gonna bust this bitch down. Oh my god, oh jeez, what the hell is going on? Oh my god. Okay, no more running for me. Oh my goodness, something is happening. Something is happening, Lady Wolfie. Something is happening. Something is going to happen as soon as I step into this elevator. Oh my! Okay, he's dead. Maybe he's not dead. Okay. I pressed the button. Oh. Well, that's nice. Ah! The spider just disappeared, like right in front of me. What the heck? Something's walking that's huge. Oh. Damn. All these jump scares. Spiders are like a tease. Don't worry, you guys. I will protect you. Hyena, I will come and protect you, I promise. I will come and protect you. Oh, there's that beep again. There's that lovely beep. Are you guys seeing the screen tearing that I'm seeing when the lights flicker? It's weird. It looks like the lights aren't lighting up the environment. It looks like they're just creating screen tears. Maybe that's because the game doesn't turn on V-Sync, though, for me. I don't know. I'll have to watch this as a video later and see if that, see if it's doing that on the video. Um, 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 what in the heck am I supposed to be doing in here? All right, let's look. There's nothing I can open. I can jump on this. Oh, can I jump up here? Damn, he can jump a lot higher now than he could before. There's nothing really up here, though. There's nothing... Hold up. No way. Wow, okay. Yeah, he can jump way higher than he did at the beginning of the game. He's gonna like take his butt all the way up here. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Come on, man. The jumping's weird because you have to hold down A, and he doesn't jump until it's registered that you're holding A. So it's like almost like a half second from when you push. Oh shit. When he starts to fall, you can't stop it. It's almost like he's sliding on ice. This is, it's, it's really kind of weird. But we'll get up there eventually. Dude, look at that, it's like, 
See, like you'll move and it's like you're sliding on a piece of ice. So it's almost super easy to fall off of these. I'm gonna take it really slow. When you're slow, he won't slide. But if you walk, he'll start sliding. Oopsie, so he's sliding around. Jeez. I feel like I'm walking on a piece of ice rather than a piece of wood. Here we go. Last one, maybe. Nope, there's another one. We're gonna get it, you guys. We are going to make it, baby. Okay, we made it. Now we just gotta move this out of the way. Damn. Can you imagine that big spider crawling after him through the vents? That would be really cool. Goodbye, Ezio Auditor Ridiculousness. <laughs> you should just name your, yourself Ridiculousness, and, and then that'll be your name. Man, he showed that fucking vent door. Vent, vent grating, whatever it is. Look into the lamp, ladies and gentlemen. Look into the lamp, and all of your problems will go away. Uh, Boris, Boris the big ass spider. Oh my goodness! Jeez! Is he poisoned? He just got bit. My man just got bit, you guys. So I wonder if he's gonna see any, any other creepy crawlies like down here other than spiders. Oh shit. So this game is basically, I don't think you can get killed. It's more like you're walking around through a haunted house. For those of you that are again just joining, my guy is basically going through the apocalypse. There's weather's gone crazy, tornadoes, everything everywhere, and he's just trying to find some place to survive, I think. I really don't know the point of the story in this game. But all I know is this dude's just trying to find some 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 place to relax, I guess. And he's running into oh, I finally saw his face. He's running into people that don't want him there, but I can see kind of why they don't want him there because he's just like, you're just like going in all these places unwelcomed. But then again, I guess maybe that, I don't know if the people that are here, or the, maybe it's just one person that's after him, but. This dude does not want him here. Не открывается. Похоже, замок заржавел. Bitch, I don't know what you just said, cause you didn't put up no subtitles. This game is like sometimes they'll put subtitles up, sometimes they won't. These damn indie games, you guys, they need to fix these things. But I'll tell you what, though, it sure does look good. Не открывается. He said Похоже, napkin. замок заржавел. Napkin. That's what he said. We'll just say he said napkin, you guys. Napkin. He said Riley forgot to use her napkin. Um, yeah.
maybe I should fall down here. Alright, you guys, we're gonna go find my napkin. Ashley, you are every day making Nightbot mad. What are you doing? What are you doing, Ashley? Ashley is a wild one, you guys. Always always trying to make Nightbot mad every day. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Okay. Ah! Oh, you can die in this game. Sweet! I bet that's the only jump you can die on. Maybe not. Ooh, we made it that time. We made it. You know what this game does remind me of, though? Because it's in Russia, probably. But Metro 2033, which I really do want to play for you guys because I think you'll like it. Now that game you can die in, and that game is very scary. Very fun, too. I've played it three times. I could totally play it a fourth. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got plant life again, you guys. We have the plant life. It is very nice in here. I'm going to lay right here, you guys. There's that view for you right there. And we're gonna fall asleep. Right in here. It's comfy. You have water dripping on you. He has plenty he can drink unless the water's dirty. And he can eat the grass and the weeds. Noah, Seth, I don't know what I'm doing tonight, man. Yeah, Metro 23. That both Metro 2033. The new one, it's okay. It's not as great as 2033 was. And I still need to play the redo for Metro 2033, so I'll probably play that. And then I'll and then I will go through the second one again. It'll probably won't be for a while. But we'll definitely get around to doing that for sure. Because those games were amazing. They were amazing! I don't even know how to express myself. Like, the, the, the game is what got me into reading some of the book for the uh, Metro. Because the author, like, I had to scrounge around, but I, w I managed to find an English translated version of Metro 2033 and the book is way deeper obviously the book the book gets into some some cool scenes like there's one cool scene from the book that I remember can I climb up here no. maybe I need a box I need a box but there's one scene from Metro 2033 where um, he's in a building and there's this weird slimy thing I guess it was living in the building with them and they didn't know about it till the next morning because of um some crap it left like a sludge in the building and they talk about the creature and then you can go look up the creature and they talk about it i think it's a wiki that talks about it and i think it was like an actually an actual there was some kind of deadly monster with them overnight and they didn't know it something like that and then just the fact that they wake up the next morning and, like, figure out that that thing was there with them. Um, damn. Where in the hell am I supposed to be going in here? Let's see. I'm underneath the thingy. There's nothing in here. What about this door? That's the door I came out of. Yeah. I need to climb up there somehow. If there was... Aha! I bet I gotta push that thing.
Wait a second, what is this? There's a ladder. Ah! Отлично. Теперь я смогу залезть наверх. He said, Aglichte, Tobadirabadira, from Mother Russia. That's about as good as my Russian gets. Okay. Nothing over there. Nothing, honey. Nothing, honey. Yeah, the books for the books are a lot to read. There's a lot of uh, some exposition, but overall, the book is kind of cool. They really nailed a lot of the characters in the game. Oh wow! So now he's in this huge freaking. Chasm? Like, is this a cave? Like, damn. This, this is almost. This is almost depressing. Oh, Sure do love spiders in this game. I still need to see Cloverfield. Спустя два дня выпал снег. The new one. Климат резко менялся. Холод пробирал до костей. Мне нужно было найти укрытие и переждать очередную бурю. So this game does have ten levels, you guys. We are on the seventh level. I've never, now I've never played it before I do, because on the options, or on the start menu, you can pick any level you want to play. And it le it lets you pick any level too, like you don't have to play the first one. A very, a very odd game. All right, so this is a different change in scenery. It's very dark and snowy now. Kind of giving me that penumbra kind of a feeling right now. Main, the main reason, though, that I was thinking, thinking back to the whole 1070 conversation, the main reason why I want to get a 1070 is so, because when I know the, the like, let's, like Quantum Break, for example, that game is an intense graphic powerhouse, and while I can run it, it won't let me run the stream. So what I want to get the 1070 for is so I can be able to stream in 1080p for you guys. And it doesn't it doesn't have any kind of an impact on my computer or my card. So that way no matter what game I'm playing, like this game right here, I have to stream it in 720p. Which isn't bad for streaming games, but I prefer to let you guys go up to 1080p no matter what. And that's kind of a staple that I want to have. If I'm going to be streaming all the time, then that's kind of a thing. I want to keep it to where you guys can go ahead and pick 1080p whenever because it's getting to be where people want to watch. If something's in, not in 1080p, they, won't, they don't want to watch it. 
so it'll be nice. It, it won't be for a while, but it'll get we'll get there. Stream in 8K. <laughs> you know what? In the in, in probably the next six or seven years, I would not doubt that people are gonna be streaming in really high resolution. weird ass lighting out here. This is like depressing. This is depressing snow. I want happy snow. I want it to be bright and sunny and the snow is glistening and it's like amazing. This is like so depressing. There's some ice. Let's go see if it's ice or if it's water. It's definitely ice. Oh shit! Okay, I was not supposed to do that. No, don't go walking on the ice, you guys. Very dangerous. Very dangerous walking on the ice. You will freeze instantly. It's making me cold just looking at this. And I live in the middle of Florida. Could you imagine that, Hyena? That would be amazing, though. Like, if I could stream, you guys would be able to... That would be so funny, though. Like, if I had the VR headset on, it would be... Like, you guys could literally see the stupid, the stupidity of myself while streaming in, like, whatever resolution. I'd have to get a camera by that point so you guys can actually see what stupid shit I'm doing. So if I trip over something in my room... <laughs> or maybe it would be funnier without the camera so then you can actually see the game like I fall down in the game but you can hear on the microphone that I obviously tripped over something in my room that would be so fucking hilarious uh, I trip over something and then just break everything that would be that would be bad Think about, uh, you want to shiver, Ian Giraffe? Think about that moment when you accidentally bite into a popsicle and it hits your tooth just right and it makes your entire mouth sting so bad and you have to sit there and quench your mouth up for like a minute and don't move until the pain goes away. That's the shit I hate. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to do something out here. I'm supposed to be finding something out here, you guys. I am lost. I am lost. Well, there's this plane, but I don't think there's anything to it. I am out here in the snow all by myself. I do not know where to go. Oh yeah, we don't have snow here in Florida, you guys. I wish. Yeah, in, in our in our winters, we get like normal weather where it's like 70 something degrees. Now, it does get down to the to sometimes the 30s. But it's not enough to where it can snow. Okay, here we go. I've made it out of the snow. Is it snowing through the ceiling? Hey, we made it back to this house, you guys. Is this that same house? No, this is a different house. Oh, 
уже здесь можно передохнуть. Нужно найти спички и дрова для костра. Yes, I have... <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Cough in my ear. Um, yes, I have dealt with hurricanes. When I first moved here to Florida, this is exactly when I first moved here. We had a hurricane in 2004, and I forget what the name of the hurricane was. I think it was, um, Katrina. I don't even remember now, you guys. But anyway, that thing dis destroyed... Why does it... Okay, this, this house is not two floors. This house is not two floors. But yet they inserted the sound effect of somebody walking on the ceiling, you guys. And and it sounded like a ceiling as if somebody was walking in a big house. That was the wrong sound effect to use here. But anyway, yeah. All of South Florida was destroyed, you guys, and I went me and me and my friend, we went and helped clean up down there a little bit. And it was pretty bad. This was way back in 2004. This was way back in 2004, though. It was pretty bad. And then after that hurricane, every year after that, everybody, like, went crazy. And you know how everybody does every year pro after. They'll go crazy and, like, oh, my God, we're going to have a hurricane. Oh, my God, we're going to have a hurricane. Board up the windows, blah, blah, blah. And then everybody does it and nothing happens. And it's been like that for, like, People are starting to die down again to the point where they just don't, they don't get prepared anymore. And then another hurricane will come and then everybody will make a big deal again. But, you know. Can, I need some wood. Where's the wood at? I think I gotta go outside and get, and get some wood, you guys. I think. Can't even go that way. Oh, here we go. But yeah, nobody really gets prepared for hurricanes anymore down here. They had a little bit of a scare with a tropical storm like a week ago, but that was, it, it was just rain. We haven't had a really bad hurricane here in years, you guys. It's been it's been over 10 years really. But that one we had though, it was it was pretty bad. So is this where he's going to get his wood? His woody? He's going down here to get a woody. This man is supposed to be sleeping in the cabin. I went to go get some matches, you guys. And now I'm running around in a tunnel. What is going on? Ah, here we go. Really? This is where this man keeps all his wood? What kind of Russian basement? Я нашел дрова. Можно возвращаться. What kind of Holy shit. Эй, вам нужна помощь? Yeah. I can't go through that door. There's the resident there's the Resident Evil item box, you guys, where you store all your shit. That's it right there. Bam. All right, so this is a some some basement. You could you could if, if there was a war or I guess maybe I don't know. Maybe there was a lot of these in Russia. 
considering all the crap that Russian had, Russia had to go through, I guess, is they would have these kind of basements. I have I have never played the SCP games, hyena. Are they good? Well, they're probably not. They're probably kind of dated now, aren't they? Ah, man, are you serious? I was not even paying attention to that. There we go. I mean, I don't mind playing dated games just as long as just as long as their presentation is like very very good. Like I can even I can even go back and play the first or the not the first, but the second Half-Life game. I think the SCP games, they're like, they're kind of like Half-Life 1 graphics though, aren't they? They're like from the first Half-Life game. Or is it like somewhere in between? Alright, so now I gotta put the wood in there and light it up. There we go. His camera just flew away, you guys, and he's like... I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna be quite honest. This is the strangest game I have ever played. It's, it's so depressing, like nothing's happening. I mean, the environments look great. It's just super, de it's like, it's, it's like somebody that's died and is walking around as a ghost after the world has ended. Like, look at this. It's like Silent Hill with snow, almost. Well, I guess there was snow in Silent Hill, or it was just like floating ash. I think in the game game, though, not the movie, but the game, the first game, I think that was just snow falling. I don't know, maybe it was ash. I can't even rem remember now because it's been so long. Well, there's a police car up here. That's kind of creepy. что-то есть. Police, help me! Help me, police! Somebody to save me, you guys. Somebody's here to save me. They're gonna take me out of this horror. Oh, that I thought it was flashing. Like, oh, it is flashing. Or maybe it's not. They're just kind of like plenty. Here I'm thinking it was a cop car or something. It's just like extreme lighting. 
машина на ходу, но нет бензина. No Только быть осторожнее. Водитель может быть где-то рядом. Well, I would be scared, but I'm just not scared. Although, if I really was, if I had a, if I had a nightmare about this, it would, it would be pretty scary. Okay, I'm deciding if I should go into the town or this way. I have no clue which way I want to go. an empty gas station right here. It's where I can get the gas. Okay, so I'm thinking that in the little in the little town we're gonna find a gas tank and then we gotta come over here and put some gas in it maybe. I don't know how he's gonna get the gas. But let's give the man a little bit of credit. Yeah this is just a big U-turn I think. This is going back to the road. My kid, hyena, why are you leaving? No, hyena. No, you must not leave. Why are you leaving me here with all these crazy people? I am so sad. I am so sad. Who ate my... Who ate my down gaming? Who, who ate my donut? That's what I'm gonna call you. Who ate my donut? And then we have Itchy and Scratchy. In, in, in Itchy and Scratchy Relic. Okay, so there's nothing in these buildings. They're all closed. I'm thinking that I might need to find a gas can somewhere maybe. Guys, let me go look by the gas station again. See if there's a gas can or something. Ashley, I'm sorry I have to deal with you two. But you know, I love you guys. We have fun together wasting time and playing video games. I don't think of it as wasting time. I think of it I think of it as we're going on adventures together. We're telling stories together, you guys. We get to tell our own stories. I don't think there's any gas in these. Следу крови. Oh. Нужно узнать, куда они ведут. Blood stains, blood stains, blood stains. <sighs> yummy, yummy blood stains. I wonder whose they are. Tab Leslie. We, вот we have found the driver. There and there is his. Give me that. Так кто это мог сделать? Нужно возвращаться назад как можно скорее. That's not the driver. That is an arm and a leg. No pun intended. 
This gas must have costed him an arm and a leg, you guys. I'm telling you. He got so mad about the gas, he came over here, knocked over the tractor, and said it costed an arm, an arm and a leg. Let's give him a hand. Let's let's give the driver a hand, you guys. He gave me he gave me a full tank of gas, and I'm glad that he paid for it. Because if get it, I'm glad that he paid for it. Ah, shit, you guys. Shit. I know I'm terrible. We must put the gas in. Oh. We're banging on all cylinders now. Let's go to McDonald's. I'm in mood for a burger, you guys. We might have to go make it ourselves. Let's drive and go get Let's go get a hamburger, you guys. I am in the mood for for some fries and a cheeseburger and oh shit. My man didn't even try to slam on brakes. He was like, fuck it, I'ma hit that damn deer. There was somebody walking around over there, crawling or something. So, for those of you that are just joining, this game is very weird. Very weird. It looks good, but it's a very weird story. I love how the the snow's coming down right now. Very calm. This looks cool. This looks cool. It almost feels like it's about to get dark, and it's like calmly snowing. Look, even the trees are blowing in the distance. That's a cool visual. Okay, so anyway, the game is about, you guys, the weather has gone crazy. It's literally, the weather has gone crazy. Earlier in the beginning of the game, it was snowing, there was, or it was raining, there was tornadoes everywhere. It's basically an apocalypse. The world is at its end, and this dude's just trying to survive. And it's a very, the, the, the structure of the game is not very well put together, because it's an indie game. But the visuals are really nice. Like, whoever was on the graphics tomorrow... When it comes to indie games, you guys, you have to realize, sometimes you're going to have a broken team. They really got to work to make sure that all pieces of their team is good so the game comes together well. This feels like they had a broken team. So, like, the graphics, the graphic and level designers were on point. And the modelers and everybody in the, in the graphics modeling department and art direction... They were on point. Now, the way the game is kind of structured and told is not so well put together. 
the the acting is 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 kind of off but that's mostly because of the of the writing and because it's russian so i mean there's but other than that like the environments and what's been going on it looks great it's fantastically put together Пункт эвакуации. Похоже, не все успели эвакуироваться. Man is coughing up a storm. All right. So, let's see where he is going to end up. There is only 10 levels, you guys. There's only 10 levels. We are on the ninth level. And this game looks really good, and I'm surprised it runs as well as well as it does, considering. But I guess it's not too intensive graphically. The lighting is really nice. Okay, so he's reached a military base. I think this is the bunker he's been trying to get to, you guys. That one that I thought that he was trying to get to at the beginning, I think he was just passing through there. This... This right here is the actual bunker he's been trying to get to the whole game. So I don't know what... I guess he knew how to get here. He just didn't know the best way to get here. Considering what he had to go through. Like, I'm just trying to put together some kind of coherent story. Because this, this, this game is very pieced apart. Kind of oddly. Just trying to get somewhere safe. That looks cool. So like I said, like the water and the visuals and everything in the game is just very well done. Also, I do apologize for those of you that I said I was gonna play the Outlast demo yesterday. I did not realize that only certain YouTubers, the ones that have a million, five hundred thousand, or are popular Let's Players, are the only ones that got sent. Those are the only ones that basically, unless the developer comes to you personally and says, here, have this Outlast 2 demo and play it for YouTube. You don't, you don't get to play it unless that happens. I feel like I'm about to be hurt. Yeah. I had to find where the valve's at. I don't know what engine they're using. I seriously doubt it's Crytek. <laughs> Cry the, the they're not gonna let an indie development team use their engine. Well, I guess they would. I don't know how se I don't know how sacred the Crytek engine is to Ubisoft, but I don't know if they would just hand their code. I don't know if they would just hand their code to. Um, it does look like the Crytek engine, though. Like if you look at the environment, all the plants and everything, it does look familiar. So it might be the Crytek engine. I don't know. I don't really know who they would. Let use their engine. I'm, I'm assuming that if somebody wants to use another company's engine, they'd have to pay them a fee to, to build with it. I don't know. Damn! Here's Johnny. Nice. И снова я в ловушке. Ищи выход, детектив. It it does look like the cry engine though. It does look very familiar to that. Well, 
Well, the only reason that I would want to play Outlast 2 is just to be able to play it. Because I want to feel the controls. I want to maybe look in some places and look in areas of the map that other people didn't look when they played it. Because when I watch the Let's Players play through it, they kind of rush through it. They kind of just... Most people just kind of go through it. And I'm like, what about over there? What about over there? Because you, you guys know me. I like to look at everything. Last I will dig a demo apart until you guys have seen everything there is to see. Oh shit. It said noob! <laughs> Did I just die? <coughs> yeah, oh, it could have been worse. Yeah, Crytek owns the Cry engine, but companies will let other companies use their engine, but they have to pay a they have to pay a fee, I think. Oh wow. There's his gun, you guys. Что не нравится? Не убегает меня, Джонни. Ты же хотел веселья. Oh, now I can just walk through the steam. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna try to come back tonight and stream a game called, um, 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 shit, The Last Take or something. It's something, it's, it's, I guess it's about this. This company that, that built this game with dolls or something, and I guess they tried to make a Five, five Nights at Freddy's type of game, and they failed, and so it, it got taken down. But now I guess they're coming out with a, with a better game. It's cheap. It was only like $2, but apparently everybody's saying it's really fun, so I want to play it. It's called, like, The Final Take or something. Yeah. It's called The Final... Oh, wow. Where are you going? Some light. Wow. Actual light in this game. I can't believe it. It's actually a bright lit room. No more depression. This must be the end. Get on this dirty ass plane and get the hell out of here. Okay, so I can't run. If you guys are wondering why I move so slow right now, it's because I cannot run at all. So I'm just kind of looking for this dude that just ran away. And I can't, I can't walk over this stuff. <laughs> Ian, stop picking on Ashley because she's enjoying this game. Ashley's having a good time. Oh shit! Damn. He's still alive! What the hell? He shot him point blank. With these weird cutscenes. Look at all this lovely trash. Look at all of this lovely trash, Ashley. I just want to roll in it. Not really. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, now I'm not stuck. Ashley, I'm gonna open the door, Ashley. And look, the text, the text, the F is, is happy. <laughs> the F is bouncing around. It's like, open the door, open the door. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. The, and the game's credit, and then the credit rolls. I'm like, what? What the fuck was this game? Черт, нет патронов. All right. 
10. Level 10, you guys. There was no opening cinematic or nothing, but this is the last level of this game. Just so you guys know, and for those of you that are just joining in the stream, uh, this game is about, it's very hard to explain. It, basically, it's the apocalypse. Um, this guy was trying, at the beginning, is trying to get away from the weather because there's like tornadoes and rain. Да постой ты, не убегай! Я могу тебе все объяснить! Не нужно ничего объяснять, я и так все знаю! Тебе не жить, Томас! Basically, То, что ты делаешь, тоже ненормально! Остановись! Пока не поздно. Basically, Мир рухнул, Томми. Ничего уже не справить. Stop interrupting me. Are you done? Okay, I think they're done. <laughs> Basically, this guy was like running around the whole game trying to get away from the weather and the rain and just find somewhere to survive. Because you're just some dude that's trying to survive. And all of a sudden, now this dude has some kind of grudge with you because you're the investigator for her, for his daughter's death or murder case or something. I don't know, and he doesn't like you. And it's really weird. It's like, this is the only dude that I've been associating with this whole game. Like, I'm sorry, but that's kind of a weird way to tell a story. Like, it's very odd. But I, but I don't really care because everything looks pretty. That's the only thing that's... Everything looks amazing. So I'm just exploring and and we're just we're just going to accept that this guy's trying to kill us for some reason. You know, everyday thing. Apocalypse end of the world. Some dude dressed in the Phantom Opera's mask is trying to kill me. You know, these things are just normal things. Wow, look at that room. See, why can't we have rooms like this? Oh, and I get to go in here too, hold up. Let me make sure, if I'm, I don't know if I'm supposed to go in there, that does not look safe. So we're gonna go in this blue room, look at this. That looks fucking cool. After, after looking at gray and brown and some green, the whole game, like this, Blue room is totally refreshing. Like Uh oh. What was that? I could play with something just now. I saw the F appear. Is that supposed to be blood on the ground? How am I supposed to know it's blood? Everything's blue. Like, this game is so weird, you guys. I don't know. There's a gun, though. I can't pick up this gun. Oh my god, you guys, no way. No way, no fucking way. I'm gonna sit here until you guys figure it out. Holy shit, look at this room. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's amazing. I just, when I saw the gun, when I saw the gun and then I saw the bathtub in the corner, I was like, oh, oh, okay. That's what this room is. That's hilarious, dude. That is amazing. <laughs> For those of you that aren't in the chat room and are watching this as a video, this room is off the Saw movie. Amazing. That's why they focused on the on the blood on the floor. I was like, why? It's the same door. Holy crap, you guys. Like, one dude was tied up here. And that's where he chopped off his his leg. This is where the doctor was tied up and he cut off his own leg. That stupid kid was tied up over here and he started off in the bathtub, if you remember, and then he got up and flushed the key. Uh, the key went down the drain. Wow. Okay. If this game was just strange the whole game, this made it worth it. This made it worth it. This was cool. That was really cool. How random. 
How random is this? Okay, I'm done, you guys, but that was so random. Look, it's the same kind of hallway, too. That's a cool little Easter egg, you guys. And if you haven't seen Saw, go watch the first movie. You'll see that room, it looks just like that. And then come back and watch this video again, and, and you'll see. It's the exact same room. That's really cool. That's a random Easter egg. That was so random. That was a cool, like you weren't expecting that because this game has nothing to do with Saw. All right, continue. look, I could have totally missed that. If I wouldn't have saw the blue, like the only reason I was attracted to the room was because of the blue. And so then I decided to go that way. But I could have totally missed that. That was really cool. So I have a feeling that this level might be wrapping up in a little bit. There wasn't much to this game, you guys, I'm gonna be honest, but it just looked nice. It was, it was a nice little walking through adventure. But I do have a feeling it's probably coming to an end in a little bit. Wow, I am still stoked, you guys. Like, that was a really, I haven't seen an Easter egg that just hit me like that in a long time. That was cool. So we'll have to definitely put the saw room up as a highlight. For sure that's going up as a highlight. Okay, I have two doors. They're probably going into the same room, I'm, ass I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah, this game is very Metro 2033. That's because it takes place in Russia. This is a Russian-made game. For those of you that... The same thing, Metro, Metro I think, was also Russian-made. Lushies! No, we're not doing any movies today, you guys. Тебя разбудила моя игра на гитаре? Ну да, я плохо играю. Разучился уже. Как себя чувствуешь? Как человек, которого чуть не взорвали. Ты в своем уме. Ну, извини меня, случайно вышло. Я на этого паука давно охотился, а он тварь такая постоянно убегал от меня. Я Стив, кстати. А тебя как зовут? Я Томас. Как же ты смог выжить без хорошей пушки, Томас? Здесь такое водится. Страшно представить. А откуда здесь эти твари? Вижу, ты не местный. Эти твари здесь давно. Как на поверхности стало холодать, так они волнами в подземелье и хлынули. Ладно, okay. языками будем чесать потом, когда доберемся до моего укрытия. Там теплое пиво, блэкджек и прочие вещи. Окей. Okay. Так как ты у нас человек гражданский без пушки, будешь держаться за мной. Открываешь дверь, я зачищаю комнату, и мы идем дальше. Открывай. Well, I'm waiting on you to move, man. Oh, he wants me to open this door. <laughs> Открывай дверь и отходи. Вот тварь! Сегодня мы без ужина. Если ты, конечно, не хочешь полезть за ним. Что скривился? Шучу я. На ужин у меня сегодня ты. Да, я шучу так же плохо, как играю на гитаре. Открывай дверь 
И отходи. The rocket launcher is like freaking out. It's like... That would get annoying. Like the freaking bazooka is just like rubbing up on his butt repeatedly like... Stop it, bazooka. Look at him. He's annoyed by it already. He's like, what keeps rubbing up on my butt? Damn. Stop it. Damn it. What the hell's going on? This bazooka's on my butt. It has a mind of its own. I can't help myself. Huh. Okay. Bazooka still rubbing up on his butt. Я, кстати, не один живу. У меня брат есть. Втроем-то всяк веселее. Будем играть в карты, шахматы, устраивать гонки пауков. Веселье будет море. Очень заманчиво. Но я не могу здесь задерживаться. Я направляюсь в бункер выживших. Это тот, который Д-7? Забудь о нем. Там ничего нет. Я уже был там. Да и на улице так похолодало, что замерзнешь в считанные секунды. Оставайся здесь у нас. Будет весело. Alright. So he's basically saying, we're about to get the hell out of here. feeling a spider is about to crawl up on him. Ты как там? Живой? Да. How are you alive? Живой пока. Это хорошо. Oh, how are Ладно. you alive? Попробуй подняться наверх. Встретимся позже. А ты что, мне даже не поможешь? Чем? Волшебной лестницей. Попробуй <laughs> выбраться сам. Встретимся на другой стороне. He's like, how the hell am I supposed to help you? You're way the hell down there. And it's your fault you dropped your ass down there. All right, now we gotta get back out of here. This is scary, guys. Can you imagine spending nights in these underground tunnels? Like, I couldn't do it. Especially if it was dark. I'm look down here. Oh, wow. Okay, so now I'm kind of confused on which way to go. Let's let's look in here first, you guys. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go in here first, just because there's like lots of desks and stuff in here. It's a toy train. It's a train model. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, wow, I did not even see that. I did not even see that on the ground. Okay. Nothing in here but a jump scare, you guys. This makes me wonder, like, what would it be like if... Like a child played video games, but they were never exposed to the outside world. And like, they kind of experienced everything like that was in the world through, through video games. Wouldn't that be really weird? Like if somebody was just so sheltered. I don't know why that thought crossed my mind, but it would be kind of a weird, kind of a weird thing. Like for some kid to experience a lot of what's in the outside world and then they go and then they would probably be also, they would be a fucked up kid socially. They'd probably be very weird. <laughs> Maybe not though, you never know. Oh wow, what is going on in here?
There was there was a story like that. I mean, if you guys, even though it's a fictional story, but I think what's her name on Bioshock was like that. I think. I, if I remember, it's been a while since I played Bioshock Infinite, but I think the girl in it, she never, the only thing she knew about the outside world was through books and what she read, but she had never been out of her little chamber to, to digest the world as it is really. It, it was only ever through books, but she came out normal. Like, she had questions and stuff about what stuff was, but she was relatively normal for the most part. Wow, there's a shadow right there, and it's probably going to walk away. Oh, is that the dude? Maybe not. And then the game just crashes. You guys, I don't know what the heck is going on right now. Was it? What the hell? Oh, I didn't even know I was still playing. Well, I can't see down there, so... Hold on. Nah, I can't go down there. I can't see. supposed to go back or right, maybe I could mess with this box right here I don't know I don't have a flashlight or anything That weird beep noise. I am not sure. go this way. Wait, let me look around that this room and just make sure. I can't crawl through this little hole the spider went in. There's nothing on the ceiling. There's no switches, no nothing. Can't flush the toilet. I don't know. Alt Vrella, why are you happy? You must explain. You must tell us these things. I tried going through the darkness. There's like a wall there. Well, at least maybe there's a door, but I can't see where the door is to get through there. But hold on, I will try again. Ow. I will go down here and I shall try again.
yeah, there's nothing there, but, oh, here we go. Ah, here we go. I had to just, like, hug the wall until something moved. We're gonna get out of here! We're gonna get... Hold on. Huh, it's like he wants to get out of here and get to where, like, safe. I guess they're down in a different bunker. This must not be the... I'm interested to see how close he is to this supposed, supposed savior land. I bet this dude's lying to him. He's talking about we got all these goodies and a place to stay and, like... So I'm interested to see when he gets to the end, is this dude telling the truth or he, or is he lying to him? Because I don't know. Aha! Careful now, you guys. How the hell am I supposed to get by? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he just like ran away. I thought I was gonna have to sneak by or something. The spider is gone. We are one step away, you guys. One step away from salvation. Oh my goodness, the spider is down the hall. Oh no, those are just those lights. Megan Vasquez. Oh, hold on. I need to go. I need to, like. I missed some of the chat, you guys. Like, hold on. I got to scroll up and see what I missed. Because I asked a question earlier. Oh. They won football. Sweet. Oh, hold on. I got to put this thing back on. Sorry about that. Now we're back. Congratulations, Umbrella. Congratulations. High School Simulator 2016, we should make one. <laughs> oh shit. Can you imagine there was like a high school simulator game? I can't see where I'm going. Again. If I'm going the right way, but we're going this way. I think I'm going the wrong way, you guys. I don't know if I was supposed to go back this way. I really don't think I was. But you know what? We might as well just go back just to see. Oh shit. Maybe I am. Uh, 
Um, I don't know. I don't do. I don't plan movie lights, you guys. I don't. I don't really plan movie nights. I try not to talk about them in the mainstreams either because technically we're not even supposed to be doing those. So we'll just try to keep those a special thing and not talk about them in the mainstream. Okay, yeah, I don't think I was supposed to come back, you guys. Yeah, movie nights are a special deal. Those are for, like, special nights. They're not planned. They're just last second things. and I'm gonna have to go back down that room again. I probably missed something, I'm guessing. Why is this last level so ridiculous? All right, so it has to be something. The, ro the, the spider room is not too far from here. So it has to be something in this room, you guys. Something I'm probably supposed to use the gas container I just found. Oh, you know what? Duh. I'm supposed to put the gas in this thing right here. Duh. I'm just stupid, you guys. I'm just stupid. I know. Um, oh, what the hell is that? That thing was running up on its hind legs. Hey, it's a normal spider. I love how things attack him, but somehow he doesn't die. Okay. I could see my guy changing into a monster at the end of this. Like, they're gonna let him in. They're gonna let him in. Like, the bunker and everything. And then he's gonna get up in there and just morph in front of all those people and then eat them. Oh, wow. Another, another color change, you guys. Now we got some alien green going on. Everything looks poisonous. I like how in video games we've associated the color green with, po with, <laughs> with everything that's poison. It's either, it's either purple or, or green, usually, that we associate with, with poison. And then, like, blue and green is always, like, the healing colors. Green can sometimes be associated with healing instead of poison. It depends. Where in the hell is he going anyway? I've still... This dude... Like, I'm supposed to be helping this other guy out, and my guy is just completely going in a different direction. I have no idea. Like, I have no clue. Wow, that's not scary at all. Let's see what's going on this way. A door. Alright. We are going to walk slowly down to your favorite room. Ashley Mashed Potatoes. Sarah? Don't worry, Sarah. 
Don't worry, Sarah. We're gonna make it to the end of this hall and everything's gonna be okay. Hell no. Hell no. Wait, who has 14K subscribers and not one video? How did that happen? You must tell me, Ashley. You must tell me. Okay, this room is very nice. I just want to stand here and stare at this light. Oh, Nightbot? That's because Nightbot is a bot. <laughs> Nightbot is like the best bot. this smoke in here man I'm surprised he can breathe in this room oh I think we found our guy again наконец-то идем скорее а то замерзнем здесь насмерть тем более в твоей то одежде I want to shoot one of на пикник собрался ну извини здесь нет магазинов одежды на каждом углу хотя теплая одежда мне не помешает I want to fire this weapon. Yeah, baby. Look at this magnificent chair, you guys. There's your chair, Ashley Towson. I'm going to get it for you for Christmas. It has lumps. Look at all those lumps and all those warped, warped parts of the seat. Very comfortable to sit on. Very comfortable. Ashley, stop making Nightbot mad on purpose, please. Thank you. Ashley, I will have to ban you if you keep doing that. Nightbot is there for a reason. Nightbot is not there to play with and spam the chat room. It is the Shaded Man, everybody. His name is Noob Cybot. Yes. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the beginning of Noob Cybot in action. AKA Boone Tobaz, one of the creators. Or actually, I should say, two of the creators for Mortal Kombat. There is nothing here, and there is nothing there. Roundabout. Roundabout. All right, man, are you ready? I'm about to open this door. You need to, you need to fix your rocket launcher, man. That shit is just dancing on the back of your back still. Turn around. I'm going to fix your rocket launcher. Look at it. It's just dancing all over the place. I'm trying to get, stop looking at me like that. Stop looking at me like that, Patrick. Patrick, I am going to throw a Skittle in your eye if you don't stop. Here, let me open the door for you, Patrick. 
Let me open the door for you. Вот мы на месте. Oh my Устраивайся goodness. поудобнее. Мой дом, твой дом. Хоть и ненадолго. Я ж тебя все равно не смогу остановить. Верно? Не знаю пока. Если ты говоришь, что там ничего нет. Уверяю тебя, неделю назад там никого не было. Ладно, никуда не уходи, я сейчас приду. That was a be Look at this beautiful Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. Isn't that B E A beautiful, you guys? I mean, the decorations are a little flat. The decorations are a little flat, you guys. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the decorations, but the lights look kind of nice. They need to make more Christmas games so we can have Christmas trees in our games, you guys. So I can sit here, so I can sit in the game and just go to sleep inside the Christmas tree. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sleep inside the Christmas tree, you guys, because it's amazing. But these ornaments, these ornaments have got to go, man. They're all flat. They have got to go. I'll play the guitar, though. <laughs> Ты кого привел в наш дом? Это же тот самый детектив, о котором я тебе рассказывал. Убей его! Успокойся, Джон. Никто его убивать не будет. Я могу все объяснить. Как ты можешь так говорить? Он же чуть не убил меня. Иди за мной, Томас. Я выведу тебя. I am hiding in my Christmas tree. I don't want to follow you. This is my Christmas tree, and I'm 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 going to take all of your presents. Look at these beautiful presents. I want one. Give me a present. Oit Vela, give me a present. And give me one of these as a present too. <laughs> this is what I want. Oh my, see, I can cook for you guys. Ah. Oh, Jesus, I'm not a very good cook. Not a very good cook, but I will turn on your... Oh, I cleaned my face. How, how nice. Clean my face off, you guys. This is that guy that's been beating the shit out of me the whole time. You're an ugly, ugly man. Where are we going? Is he following me or what? Jeez. Okay, man, you got you got to do something about this rocket launcher, man. You got to do something about this launcher, because this thing has been dancing around on your back for years, I bet. Открывай дверь. Probably showers with the damn thing. Wow. So the guy that was helping me just beat the shit out of me. So this is still level 10, you guys. I don't know what the hell's going on. This is the last level. This is the long last level. Ah, a button just for me. I bet there's going to be spiders all around him. I knew it! I knew it! Look at that. I knew it. And then it's going to be over. Yeah, I knew that was... That was... It was... Yeah. <laughs> I was like, the levels, the levels been kind of long. They've got to end it somewhere. There's probably going to be spiders all around them.
Wasn't that the best ending ever, Ian Giraffe? The best. Music's gotta go. Okay, that should be better. Was was that was that better? Hold on, I gotta turn this shit. This music is way loud. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta turn that down. See, so can you guys hear? No, I know you can hear me now. Can you hear me when the music's on? No, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, that's a little bit. That's a little bit better, you guys. That's a little bit better. Okay. Well, now the music ends. Okay, well, that's, you know. You know. Ashley, was that... Uh-oh, hold on. Man, that was... You don't, you don't deserve to do that at the end of your game. Sorry, your game was not that fascinating to where you get to do a cool after the credits theme. <laughs> you know? You did you did not you did not build up a fascinating enough story to give us an after the credit. Ooh. Ooh. No. That's like if I put a tic tac on the ground, film it, and then I put some credits in and then I put like an ooh the tic tac is going to come back scene at the end when there was there was nobody's gonna care you know <laughs> you guys know what I'm trying to say you guys know there was the, the story was so broken and so incoherent I guess you could say that that it doesn't it doesn't what's the word there's no need. It doesn't formulate a need to put that at the after the credits as if you're going to be like, oh, the, the, the audience will get excited because we're going to have another game. No, 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 absolutely not. Which I'm not putting down the game, by the way, just in case these guys end up watching me play this game for some reason or another. I doubt that'll happen. The game was actually really good. And look at that. It doesn't even go back to the title screen, you guys. It just leaves me in the black shithole of darkness while I sit here and talk to myself. What kind of program is that? What kind of programming is this? Any programmer that programs a game knows that after the credits, it's going to go right back to the title screen. You couldn't even program that in? You couldn't even program that crap in? I am going to come over there and slap all of those Russian asses silly. No racist. No, I'm not racist, you guys. I'm just being a, I'm just being a goofball. I love everybody. I love all the peoples and all the things. But, you know. They left me on a black screen, you guys. I'm so sad right now. I'm so sad. I don't know what to do with my life. It's almost like I've died and I'm stuck in a black room for the rest of my life. What am I going to do? What am I going to do, you guys? How am I going to get unstuck from this black black hole of hell? Peculiar Gamer, let me give you a tip, man. That's not how you win subscribers. Why would you want subscribers that you begged for? Answer that question to yourself really quick. I want you and anybody else that is trying to fucking have a YouTube channel to answer this question. Why would you beg for subscribers? Why would you want any subscribers that are giving you pity subs? Because A, they're never going to watch your videos ever. So it does it wouldn't matter if you had 10,000 subscribers if you don't have nobody watching your videos and they just subscribe because you begged for it like a little pansy. They're never going to watch your videos and you're never going to, you know, you're not going to make any money if that's what your goal is. Your goal should be just fucking not to go to other people's streams, fucking, you know, subscribe, make your own channel and bring people in that way by playing games and having fun. And you're having a fun time with it because that's what you're passionate about. And 
I don't I don't I don't get it you guys like a lot of these idiots they come to other people's channels and streams begging for subscribers when they should just be streaming and playing games because it's their passion because they've done it since they were a kid because they love playing video games and because other people like to watch they might then you'll get subscribers then when people like your personality and they like the games that you play and they like what you do that's how you get subscribers. You don't fucking go to other people's channels and beg like a little baby to get your fucking shit. <laughs> that's just, that's that's my point of view, you guys. That's my point of view. You should probably listen to it, you know? Yeah. All right, you guys, let me, let, let me end this stream. Again, you guys, remember once it's up, highlights, you can put them in the comments. Um, this is going to be a weird video because at the end of it, people are just going to have this black screen, <laughs> but you know, let me see what happens if I press escape. Oh my goodness. The menu is going crazy. Look at that shit. You guys look at that shit. Ridiculousness. Ridiculousness. This game is kind of broken. You guys, I need to fix it up a little bit, but anyway, all right, you guys, I'll see you tonight. I'll probably play that game called, it's called A Final Take, something, The Final Take. It's some weird game. Everybody see, says it's fun. I want to try it and see what it's like. We'll, we'll, we'll come in and try it probably tonight. All right, you guys, Ian Giraffe, you know what it is. Yeah, there's a lot of highlights in this game. As much as, as depressing and as weird as it is, we found some highlights. The Saw highlight is definitely going in. <laughs> it's going to be good times, you guys. I cannot wait for Friday the 13th. Ugh. Ugh. But, Progo, you are late. You are late. Or some, I'm sure there's some certain people that are joining up right now, and they're like, what the hell's going on? This is This is not a game. This is a black hole with a voice in it. Um... I don't know what time, you guys. I probably will We start streaming that game around 8 or 9. Make it a late night game, because it is a horror game. It's a horror game, so we'll probably make it 8 or 9. Eastern time. That is U.S. Eastern time. That is exactly... Um, what time is it now? I don't even know, because... Here it is. It is 5.52. It's 6 o'clock, basically, right now. So in about three hours, yeah, about about three hours would be a safe bet. So I need to test the game out to see if it even works while streaming. So you know, all that good stuff. All right, you guys, I'm going to jump off. I don't want the stream because all the stream goes into the video. So I don't want people to be like, oh, he just sat around talking afterwards and it was kind of boring. But all right, I'll see you guys tonight. Love. What was that? Hold up, am I still playing this shit? <laughs> you guys, I'm still playing it. What the hell is this? There's nothing in this dark room. I can move around, but there's nothing here. I'm moving around in a complete circle right now. This game is still playing. From where that dude opened the door and then shut it? They like locked me in a dark room. But there's nothing in here. I think that's just where the game ends, though. You're locked in a dark room, and that's it. Because I can't do anything in here, so. I'm looking down, looking up, turning in a circle. Yeah, there's nothing. All right, you guys. Programming skills, 9,000 for this game. Goodbye! Goodbye, everybody! Goodbye! Ugh, the loading screens. Oh, there we go. Okay, goodbye, everybody.